let me introduce myself as a senior designer of edge innovation so if i uh, you know talk about figma i know most of you already know about figma but uh, also let me introduce it so figma is a collaborative browser based interface tool and with this software you can work with any pc any you know uh, operating system if you have a browser uh, then you can just type the link and you can start creating with this so i have listed some of the key points and advantages can be achieved with figma uh, so here are some of the important key points like end to end design tool uh, why it's end to end design tool uh, from a client to you know a, a project manager designer developer qas and again back to uh, the client can be done within the figma that's why we are calling it end to end design tool and it's very you know uh, user friendly and it's free for individuals so like uh, unlike some other tools like photoshop invision aksher or anything if you want to try them out uh, those are not free so you cannot even you know know what are the good features and try them out but here it's free and uh, with the basic features you can try those out and share your projects with the clients and everyone and it's collaborative tool uh, so all of your you know colleagues designers developers and if you have a team of uh, designers you can all work in single figma file uh, as it's a browser tool and uh, luckily it's very fast uh, and you don't have to you know save them uh, uh, like you know other softwares like control is something so it will save automatically on real time uh, so other you know colleague of yours can see them and work them on real time uh, it's a mobile company and app so whenever you are creating any prototype or design or something it can be seen uh, on your mobile phone and can be you can give the feedbacks and reviews on that tool and to learn this software is very easy uh, because you know there are lots of free resources are available and thanks to the Figma community, uh, they are very much, you know, aggressive, I would say. Uh, there are a lot of files, they're free, so you can try them out, even if you can use them, they have given those permission to you. So it's very much friendly for everyone and they can learn it easily. And uh, thanks to Figma, they are uh, uh, providing third party APIs to integration. So. Uh, if you talk about uh, like recent tools, uh, most of the you know third party tools are integrated with Figma, even uh, like you know, if you are using Slack, and you are a paid user, uh, you can integrate with Figma and whenever someone comments on them, or you can you know specifically uh, select uh, which project you want to get the notification on your Slack, you will get the notifications. Uh, just I'm giving an example, but those these tools are actually using uh, in varieties of platforms, so you can check them out. And as I have already said, all changes uh, it's auto saves, but there is a very good lucky point of it that if uh, it saves, you know, auto saves the version, and if any time you want to save the previous version uh, of it to any client or someone you can do that but with other softwares like even photoshop or any other tool if you you know do some changes after that you cannot go back and if you can go back you cannot you know uh, redo the recent new works you have done but with figma what you can do is if you want to go back to a particular time within 30 you know on uh, three 30 days you can say you know rename that version and save it and share it with the client or anyone and use those components what you have lost already so it's a very good feature for figma and all you know as i have mentioned it's a cloud-based tool so uh, if you are thinking you are working from office you can now go to home and want to work you can do that you are in a vacation clients who wanted some changes uh, in if you have a laptop or anything uh, like that, you can go to your browser, log in, and work on it. It's that easy. 
uh, even with Figma, now if you are creating any you know application or website, uh, there are some third-party integration softwares and plugins. Uh, with those help, you can build those you know Android apps, iOS app, or uh, you know website in the real field, and those will work fine. But uh, you, there's some definitely some limitations. Those has to be with the basic functionality. And it's supposed to case file directly and some other files like Auxer or some other XG files that can be also imported in Figma with some third party integration tool. So why actually I'm talking so much about Figma if we uh, see the recent trend of uh, the design tool database, if we go to our browser, so this is a design tool database. Uh, they have created an you know rating system uh, for the tools uh, those people are recently using. So this is actually not the recent one. This is the last year's uh, report in uh, based on 2021 design tool survey. Uh, so I would say actually I, if it's uh, this survey was done in 2021 in the recent history it will become very much more than that because in 2000, uh, 2021 you know lots of people were not aware of figma but now they are so if you see you know uh, these these are the ui design tool figma sketch xg adobe illustrator photoshop Oxford, framer actually i have worked with all of most all of them not the this one the last ones but most of them i have used even i was a pro with auction and uh, i would say framer is a very good tool uh, but figma has so much flexibility and uh, you know plugin inst integration are possible with figma even uh, figma and framer can be also you know run together there are some ways you can do that so that is a very good thing uh, so it is the ui design survey report you can see the votes, how many people have given the votes. Uh, if we go to the prototyping section, also in the prototyping section, Figma is way ahead of the others. Uh, whiteboarding tool, uh, I have also worked with this one. This one is very good, but uh, Figma is also doing very great. The Figma, actually, this is a new thing. That, uh, that's why people, most of the people are not using this one. Uh, but I feel like in 2022, FIGSAM will be the first one if they will create a new survey. So for user flow tool, they haven't created the rating system here. That's why uh, it's in the last, but these are just the names. So there is no rating system for this one. So for design system, the most important thing for the clients. Uh, so if Figma is actually most, you know, very vastly using and even versioning Figma way ahead of the others. So probably you have already come to know uh, why I am choosing Figma. Uh, so here is one uh, diagram I have shared with you guys. Um, so before Figma, how we used to work with the clients and design the things. And we had to use so many softwares different for every different work. But now with Figma, I know this can be done in Figma also, or, or you can done in you know pencil or sketch any other software, uh, and in the uh, deliver to developer it can you can you know share it with Zira or some other tool, or you can directly share with Figma. That's why it is like this. Uh, so let's come to our uh, topic for today: uh, Figma for different users. So I have, uh, as we have very less time, that's why probably I won't be able to cover everything, I know, specifically uh, in, uh, you know, specific comments, but I'll try to cover up the, you know, uh, facility you can get from these uh, you know, things. So project managers, designers, clients, developers, QA, and research and analysts can get benefited from Figma. But these are not the only users. There are a lot of users can be benefited, but these are the key users can get benefited. So let's see how different users can be get benefited. So our first user is designers. Uh, actually, I have put 
designers at the top because mostly designers uh, will use this software and others will get the benefit. Um, so uh, I have listed down some key points for the designers. So uh, designers, uh, it's a very user friendly interface for the designers. Uh, it's very used, but uh, very easy. Uh, like, you know, uh, if you are used uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, InVision, or even Oxshire or any other framework tool, uh, this is almost like the same. So if I share you my, uh, you know, interface with you, uh, this is even the presentation I have created in Figma. Uh, not the other tools so you can you know you can see uh, how i am using this one so uh, for your reference and usability what i'll do is i can share you my prototype with you guys and in the future you can use it as a reference or okay share here use as a reference or if you have any comments or anything uh, because actually for this webinar is very short i have created it but if you want to know anything specifically and any help uh, you can comment on the sigma file or uh, in the comment box i'll try to help you out in the future uh, so how you can get benefited from here so with auto layout actually uh, if uh, you are aware of any other tool or with a design tool uh, previously uh, in i do remember when we were working with photoshop before you know like 2018 or something when someone comes for us for a web design or something app design we directly go for the photoshop or xd mostly actually photoshop so over there there was a very big problem for us uh, the positioning system like if we created something and after that if you want to change something and if it's on the top uh, then uh, we had to re you know re positioning position every of the you know bottom content and uh, also the left alignment to the light the right alignment was not appropriate all the time sometimes uh, if you mistakenly move something it goes move and all so there is a very big problem with that but figma have uh, solved this thing with auto layout thing uh, so now you uh, work uh, with figma with worry less thing with positioning like if you see my thing uh, these are with auto layout i have used so i know you know where i have used how much of space and everything like if you see my figma file uh, you can see uh, these are with auto layout you can uh, you can see the positioning with from one to another these are very much even and if i want to add or remove anything if i just let me add one point extra so you see all the components goes down automatically and uh, we can just you know re if you remove anything also it's auto uh, auto adjusted the position we don't have to worry a bit about that uh, even the text if we want to add or remove or change the content we don't have to worry about the you know the rest of the alignment will be you know auto adjusted or not those will be done from figma uh, so, you know, I already have mentioned you guys that uh, the, the, you know, community of Figma is very active and there are tons of free resources. You can use them. If you go here, you can see uh, there are a lot of Figma files are there. You can just need to click on anything and everything will be, you know, here for you. You can just copy anything and use them directly. Uh, there is no restriction there are a few files they are paid and uh, probably if you want to uh, buy them you can buy them otherwise there are lots of free resources for the beginners uh, so uh, there's the next point i have mentioned is lots of uh, plugins you can uh, it will uh, make your job very easy actually in a very short time actually i will share you guys how these you know plugins work and why i'm talking about those uh, it's uh, the responsive designs can be created easily uh, so you know uh, also i'll share with you guys how to create responsive you know designs and after you know creating one design how to switch to another version of it and with 
that if you can you know switch it very easily and share it with your client and everyone and those are not uh, like other softwares creating one uh, uh, you know desktop version of it and after that creating the full thing for the mobile version tabs version uh, for now it's actually very easy you just have to make uh, things auto layout and main, you know give it a size and it will actually auto adjust if your you know settings are okay and i'm very thankful uh, for your the design system that uh, figma have providing actually with figma file now i can create top notch design system actually for some restriction i cannot share you guys uh, my you know designs because you know uh, some client restrictions because i'm uh, as a agency designer i work with so many clients and every client have some different uh, you know requirements uh, so uh, for with figma i you know fulfill their uh, you know requirements very easily and i would say you know previously what design i have done within 100 hours with photoshop or some other tool like you know now with figma i can do the same design uh, with lot more accuracy within 20 to 30 years so you can see how much efficiency i have gained with figma uh, so brainstorm is very easy now like you uh, all will see it in one place like if you see here is my file and in the file if you want to brainstorm anything you can tag anything, do anything, chat anything, write anything. There are lots of plugins that are available with for chatting and, uh, you know, doing brainstorming, stickers, uh, plugins, widgets, uh, those things are available. You can use them and chat with your, uh, you know, colleagues, clients. And also you can see here, there's a conversation button over here. You can talk with them directly and give the instruction, even like just, let me show you guys one more new, you know, nice feature. Like you can see, you know, if I go back to my other uh, browser with the same ID, uh, but actually you can use any ID uh, for your presentation. You see, uh, there's my new cursor over here. Uh, that is actually from my another browser. Uh, so it's counted as a new user. So if any time you want to, uh, you know, follow this user or want to see, how this guy is, guy is working and want to learn or follow the steps sometimes it's very difficult when someone shows something like this and moves we scrolls back so at that time what you have to do is you have to just spotlight me so at that time what will be happening uh, what that guy is actually doing uh, it will be shared automatically okay actually i have to you see you see uh, so actually i am scrolling from my another browser uh, you can consider it another user so whatever he is doing is selecting or doing you can monitor them directly so it can be used for as a learning purpose or you can monitor them or you can guide them with any uh, aspect you can use it uh, for yourself and when you want to start following him or want to start following any other person, you can also do that. So let's go to our presentation again. Okay. Uh, so brainstorm is very easy. And uh, actually, this is a, uh, actually, I would say is a user research tool, UX tool. Uh, what it does is, what it does is actually, uh, it's a very nice tool. Uh, with this one, you can create prototypes. Mostly, I would suggest you to use it for surveys. Uh, so as a designer, you might want to know how people are liking my design and uh, where actually I need to improve, where are the hot points people clicking, what are the things uh, actually they, uh, they don't like, uh, they are not clicking everything you can you know uh, see from this tool you can be integrated with this figma and you can share your prototype with everyone and when uh, they will be using it you will all get all the data 
for itself. So I have uh, given some resources uh, for you guys uh, uh, for here. So whenever you feel like you want to learn some tricks, there are lots of you know resources are available. But these two things are very great. Like you know this uh, Figma tips and tricks uh, file I am sure I have shared. Uh, this is actually a few years back you know in 2019. But this guy actually covered almost 50 nice tricks. And with the recent ones, there are you know few new tricks are available. You can learn them later, but uh, these are very nice one. And there's also one uh, resource I would like to suggest you guys is iOS versus Android UI kits. You know, like uh, us, we are designers. Some of our iOS designers, some of our Android designers. But sometimes we get confused. If you are designing iOS, also Android, uh, you know the guidelines are different. So how actually you come to know what are the difference or the, the things. So in this Figma file, this guy have listed out those, you know, uh, things, uh, what is actually for, you know, you, know, you see, uh, for uh, iOS and what is for Android. And not just you need to uh, just see this, you can use this component on your design also. So that is a very good thing. I would suggest you to, you know, use this one uh, for your uh, knowledge enlargement. You can do it. It's a very good one. Uh, and a few good plugins I would like to suggest you and share with you. Um, these are some, you know, actually I would say I have lots of plugins uh, installed on my system, but these are few good ones. Yeah, you must uh, use them. So let me share, you know, how these work and how you can get help from these tools. So with this help, actually what you will be able to achieve is uh, what design you will need to design in uh, seven or two eight hours, you can design it in two hours or something like that. Uh, so just let me, you know, just open it up in another browser so I can show you one by one. Okay, uh, so uh, I have named the uh, font preview. So font preview, what it does actually, whenever we, uh, you know, type anything or um, like, you know, Okay. Uh, okay. I just pasted, you know, extra SS. Uh, I'll show you guys why. So, if you want to, you know, uh, see this font and use it, you know, what will happen is, you know, you have previously what we had to do from the font previewer, we had to see, you know, if those are working fine, what is the, you know, font actually, how it will look those are not available but with this plugin um i would say font preview but with this plugin what will be done is you can just you know uh, use it as a reference tool for you guys like you know just copy paste the thing here and you can see those are listed there now you see how your font will look like and very good Thing is if you just select any of these like let me share this one you can directly click on it and it will be implemented on your design directly uh, so whenever you are creating a newsletter any banner or anything something like this so you might you know thinking okay how what kind of design you know font will look good on my system and this is a very you know challenging part we have to you know search for is lot tons of fonts installed on our system and which one will like good uh, we don't know but with this font preview tool you can do it easily in real time actually okay so the another one was let me hide it uh, content real so what content real does is you know if you have any you know uh, contents on your files okay let's uh, create one file with this one uh, like this uh, so let me create it as you know subtitle subtitle and 
Uh, I also have you know, given, okay, I haven't given one name uh, that is lorem ipsum. Okay, uh, with this tool, um, with this tool, what you can do is you can generate, I know, contents for your file, like how many sentences you want to generate, how long it will be, or how, how many words you want to add. Like, let me introduce, you know, uh, six or 10 sentences it will generate. So you see, it's generated six sentences within it. So if I just make them in one group and auto layout, you can see, I can see the size, you know, distance between them. Now there's zero distance. If I made four, it will add four. And for this one, enter 14, and for this one, you know, this is actually uh, the width is uh, very long, but I don't want them. So I want it to be fill container. So you can see uh, now it's inside my file. It's, uh, you know, very, you know, friendly. So what our, uh, what our, you know, Lora Mipsum file will do is, you know, if I have few file of this, okay. and uh, just uh, one new, you know, just tricks is uh, like, uh, you know, uh, illustrator file, we want to duplicate anything with same distance and anything. It can be done with Figma also just press control D and it will be duplicating your file, what you have done in the first, you know, command. So here, let's go to our, uh, you know, um, you know, file, what is one is content real. Oh, content real. So with this plugin, actually, uh, you can use uh, uh, any kind of titles, images on your design system. Okay, just add, let me add one more thing with this one also. Let me add one image file for this one. Let's consider this one, one as an image. Okay. Uh, so let's, okay, just for your concept. So now what we want to do, we want to add a title and a subtitle just for go for the text, T-A-T, title. And what kind of title actually you want to add? You just select those ads you want to add and click them, it will add your titles randomly big title small title subtitle anything you want to add and let's consider subtitle titles and subtitles subtitles you see any kind of subtitle you want to add there's a lot of subtitles you can use here and even you know dates or anything uh, or sometimes you know it's very difficult for us to find different uh, you know titles subtitles add those so you can directly add from here also you can choose from here what are the you know titles you want to add like you will be finding you know numbers how they are uh, so let's consider uh, about the image so uh, let's consider you are want to add avatars of different people on this file so just select on them, click on avatar. It will be generating your avatars directly from the file. Like if you want shoes. Uh, so you see, the product shoes. You see? So those will be added automatically. So you don't have you don't have to you know work much harder now. And with uh, these images, you want to add. There's lots of ways you can do that. Uh, there's one way I can give you one trick. Like uh, press Ctrl Shift K, there will be an open button over here. And for here, if you want to add anything, just select those items. And just open, and you can just click on them, and it will be added automatically by sequence, whichever you want to add. 
and also you know uh, like there's a lot of soft plugins are there you can use like i mentioned ima you know image if uh, that is you can use or unsplash or anything like that from there you can also use your images uh, selecting the artboard and showing it uh, and it will be reflected on your design uh, like uh, now probably i would like to int introduce you one more nice software pixcut but for that i'll be needing one image so for that one let me uh, uh, just in, uh, import one image here uh, that is not transparent. Uh, so, like, let's consider leaf. Okay, let's consider this one as a leaf. And for this one, what you want to do is you want to remove the background of that image. Okay, let's consider this one. So your image is added here. So now what you want to do is you want to remove the background of this image. Uh, so for that, you know, PixCut is here. Uh, whenever you want to uh, use that one, it's a very good software. You know, previously for removing the background, uh, our design doesn't look good. Uh, so now uh you can do it very easily uh, for that probably you have to you know create an account first and do this thing but after doing you know integrating the you know api keys over here see how nicely it has done so you can use uh, this image on your you know files and add any back uh, any background to it and it will be that easy very nicely you can do it and auto flow i also have given one file you know name to auto flow auto flow actually i'll show it for the you know okay i can show it even now as everyone is here uh, like let's consider auto flow auto flow uh, it's run so now what you can do you can just play uh, you know uh, press shift key and select two files and it will link that file so whenever you want to show someone that these are linked how the user flow will go so you can create those and select them and it will be linked and you can show them your clients how it will work how the user flow will go it can be done uh, from a designer side or from a you know you know uh, manager or someone is presenting this to the client in the real time they can show these things okay probably uh, i am talking too much about the designers actually you can check it out and let me know if you want to know anything specifically uh, uh, in the comment box i'll uh, try to you know uh, give you answers or help you out in the future Okay, so let's go to the uh, next section of developers. So how developers would get help from Figma? So in Figma file, you know, what de developers need from a Figma file? Uh, they will be inspecting the object, how it is implemented on the site, what are the, you know, things uh, he have used and the spacings of the file that they will be needing. Also, you know, they will be needing the code so figma is done you know does it very nicely from figma file it is not recommended to use this css or hvg code directly but you can you know copy ss you know css or hvg or png you know uh, links from here and you can use it on your file but it is a very good you know help from figma that you will come to see how actually it will look if we go to the inspect section, if you see, if if I'm selecting something, uh, you will get the you know hands-on you know codes over here like a width, height, left or padding or something. Even the position is relative height. What is the background color? If you want to you know know more about it, you can switch it between over here. It's very easy uh, for uh, them to you know. Uh, see how the design is done and inspect them 
and uh, from here actually so distance between them positioning is very important as i have mentioned previously it was very difficult uh, for the designers or uh, you know for the developers to know the exact pixel you know distance uh, it is how the designers have done and they had to reach out to designer or they have to be you know go into the uh, Photoshop file and have to be very careful and they don't, you know, destroy the file or something and know the codes and everything. But now it's very easy. Uh, anyone can know these things from the Figma file and it's very handy. And creating this uh, files actually, uh, it's very nice. Like uh, just think of you want to, you know, create this presentation in a website and uh, now how it will be done so if you click on this you know how is the distance what is the width of this file so what you will do in and the side of your uh, monitor uh, you can open your you know file and another side uh, this figma file and you can just create the same thing you're mirroring the thing on your design on your coding so that is very you know nice thing uh, can be done and by side by side comparison uh, you will come to know uh, what you are building and what's on the designer file that is very easy uh, you know like it's very handy i would say so let's uh, work for actually qs as you were you know uh, seeing side by side comparing them knowing the distances so there will be a very less you know keyword work for you guys because uh, you will uh, you know see the distances and everything and you are putting the same content over here uh, so you will leave more, less room for the QAs to you know raise their hand hey developer you are doing these mistakes um, so but uh, yes uh, we are humans we do mistakes that will be done and that's why the Q will do their job okay so i have given some you know also you know uh, for better understanding like you know previously what uh, was there uh, we were supposed to give you know developers the images or this inspect file but now we are giving them the prototype of it like how the animation will be done like if you uh, see my file uh, you know like here uh, you know research analyst just see this icons over here the dots over here and in the question answer section those goes directly over here uh, the animation thing is done here so developers now know how the real thing will go on because you know sometimes client explain things differently or you know they understand things differently so there is very less option uh, for misunderstanding so now because they are seeing it in the live site how it will be done how the real file when clicking how when overing how the effect will go how it will be done these things are very easy now uh, how these things will work they they don't they do know how to do this uh, that's why it's very easy for them uh, for the developers and i have given some reference link for them uh, over here you can see them actually i know for the developers speaking for developers for measuring space how they will do it you know how to click them how to inspect them and from there what they can select how the grid lines work uh, actually as i have very less time to show you guys directly so you can check this out uh, for you guys and where is another link i have given uh, uh, this uh, this is the link um this uh, how plugins and api works how would this work uh, for figma uh, how to build uh, your file how automation contents work so this is a figma, figma developers so you can check this out there are lots of resources available here and you'll come to know how to you know code it very well how to save the time okay let's go to our project managers uh, you know how they can get benefited from here so as i have listed okay our figma file let's go to project managers 
okay so the key benefits uh, a project manager team take lead or coordinator can get uh, can gain from here is uh, monitor the project and members in real time like what is the update over on the project how you know uh, the de designers working uh, whenever a client is commenting or anything they they'll come to know uh, can provide instruction in real time like you you are a you know project manager or something you want to give any instruction uh, for your designer or anyone you can do that in real time and for that you can do so many things like even there's a very good widget uh, is here I would recommend you to use this one, this record one. This is a voice note. Uh, sometimes what happens is, you know, you want to explain uh, a thing to a designer, but typing is very sometimes feel boring and it creates confusion. Uh, so what you can do, you can record a voice note for the developer within 30 seconds and developers can hear that and work on the, that file. It will be, a, you know, even, time consuming time saving thing or uh, real like uh, you know real time you can do these things so it's a very nice thing that figma is uh, you know achieving with this actually this is just one i am showing you there are lots of like this uh, you know available you can explore those out uh, you can uh, you can be benefited from here i i, I can guarantee that uh, so what was the next top thing uh, I, okay maybe i'm i'm sorry to interrupt like i think we have a hand raise and a q and a so maybe we can answer it in between uh probably it will be better if i can answer at the last because uh, then probably you know i would not be able to finish the other things because if uh, answering at this uh, now it can interrupt is it okay yeah okay guys we'll be uh taking the q a's later uh just to inform later. yeah actually don't worry you just ask the question whatever in your mind at the same time uh whenever this thing will come up this section question and answer things i'll give every answer of yours don't worry uh, okay. so for the project managers uh, you know uh, there are a lot of things can be discussed like you know how project managers can save their file i have given some example uh, here and uh, for future reference to use them like you know there is a good you know plugin is also there uh, like stutter annotation uh, let me show you how actually it works okay even from here i can you know run it i can uh, search it from my plugin section or i can run it from also here okay like okay. okay if you see in this one so if you want to describe anything to a designer or anyone or even designers can use the same thing like uh, you can say this file is in progress so it will have a tag like in progress and after completing this work uh, designer will change the section to you know review then you know uh, manager will come to know okay this is for review now and after reviewing and uh, you know you know approve thing uh, you know my project manager have put it or our client have approved the thing and then uh, our project manager can check uh, you know change this status to a developer so developer will not go for everything will not search everything what is tagged as developer they can uh, you know do it and after that they can complete it and after complete it a project manager can you know make archive or anything they want and this is just one demo plugin i have shared uh, there are lots of similar kind of things uh, can be done with figma you can check those out uh, those are also very nice okay uh, so i have given some links you know uh, how we can you know organize your file uh, here's a file i have already opened for you so how you can organize your file so this file is there you can check this out i wanted to actually share the details with you uh, but as we have very less time i'm sorry i cannot you know share in detail
but you can check this out and if you want a specific video on this you can uh, you know comment it uh, if our managers approve i'd love to you know explain them separately okay uh, so let's go to our presentation uh, uh, so so this how actually a manager can get benefited or any coordinator who is coordinating the project they can manage their files share the files and manage them very nicely and how clients get benefited as uh, the managers everything they will get and uh, for the, if any client is here i'm not sure if any client is here if they see this video anytime i'd suggest uh, client to create their own account first create the project and then give the access to the designers or any agencies they want to you know uh, get the file then how it will be done actually like you know you are creating a design system for your company if a designer creating uh, the file in his system and if you uh, later copy this file uh, sometimes the links doesn't work properly or sometimes you know uh, in figma everything is great but still there are lots of bugs available in figma so sometimes everything doesn't work as planned uh, so if it's always it's better uh, for a devil you know client side they create the file and share it with uh, because in future if they want to change the agency designer or remove any access to others people and in-house designer they want to give the access they can do it in their file this can be done here and also it can be done you know simultaneously and if they want to update their file in everywhere if they have a design system and everyone followed that file uh, so they can just update on their main file and everywhere uh, those updates will be reflected so they don't have to work on each and every file individually they just need to open them and just uh, click on the button of uh, review update that's it and even you know they can uh, monitor the project in real time they uh, they can communicate real time they can comment real time check the box you know uh, chat uh, with the developers designers or anyone is working with them and they can you know guide pm or anyone um, and keeps a proper track and in figma there is a very good thing you know if anyone working with anything in the vision history channel panel you know every was everything is recorded so whoever is working on what or doing any changes you can see the history and as i mentioned if you were uh, as i mentioned earlier if you have you know done the changes on this file like you know consider this file was in black now it's very colorful but you you want to share your black uh, theme uh, to a client so when you have worked with that file just click on that variation version and just rename it after renaming it you can share it uh, with them uh, as a separate file and your main file will be untouched so that can be done uh, from a uh, you know manager side or a client side uh, for their stakeholders it will be very easy to you know share with them and collect all of their feedbacks on the uh, figma file and from there they can brainstorm and give a proper instruction uh, to the you know uh, designers or the agencies or anyone they want to give the pass the message they can do it okay uh, let's go to our qa section uh, as the developers qas will get the same benefit uh, based of design handoff uh, because uh, with other tool they will not get the css in every code but here they will get it and from there they can check it uh, compare developer build and designer build side by side uh, like it will be in a you know it will look like uh, both are actually a website and they can compare them on uh, the fonts on the sizes and everything they they can inspect uh, it will be very easy work for them and they can communicate also um, on the same file uh, 
and as a platform they can take transparent uh, to the all collaborators and everything will be transparent for uh, QA uh, template as a reference I have given one so you guys can check it out and you can work on it actually it's a, a backup file I have given with this one what will be done there is a file I have given um, this guy has created uh, from here you can create the notes uh, what are the mistakes that developer have done and uh, side by side comparison uh, what is wrong what is not wrong uh, or anything you want to share you can share as a slide or you can do it in individual pages like uh, you know you want to create this slide as a uh, you know let's come consider our design file this is our design file so now you want to add some comments to the developers or the pms you can just click a uh, duplicate page and you can just rename it to qa or something anything you want and then you can uh, do your commenting and all and after com completing everything, you can delete deal for this file or you can keep it as a future reference. So this thing can be done. Let me delete this thing. So uh, you can do it like this and as a research tool, analyze, analysis, uh, it can be done very, you know, in uh, so many ways. Uh, like with brainstorming you can do research here with this current ux tool i have just shared with you with this one you can you know analyze the data how people are reacting with your design you can create multiple version multiple version of your same design with just you know simple tricks and tweaks like if you are uh, you want to share three colors of your app with the developers with the designers or the stakeholders you can just uh, updating the library uh, just go to your vision revision file and rename it and share it with those people uh, then they will you know give the comments and everything and you will come to know which one actually they like uh, every content you don't have to change you just have to change the library and everything will be reflected on the file so that's how you can do your analysis research and uh, get the feedbacks uh, from developers or anyone and you can communicate uh, through your community or channel you can brainstorm with your community and how uh, you know these things are done i have given um, two sample of it uh, uh, let me share uh, this um, you know uh, file you can check how this npr uh, conduct their usability testing and research you can see it they have created it uh, how why they have done what are the resources they have used also here you, can, you will see uh, what was the case it can be a user case study research file you can do it and you know in the same file you can do these things if you are ready with your file and uh, just consider this is our file after creating some version of it uh, with some you know in just create a new page and in that presentation you can do it and even uh, for this uh, you know flows if you are creating in one file if you are creating multiple flows like you know if you were logged in user now that will be a different flow if you are locked out user it will be a different flow so you can share them out and this will be you know also shared here how flow one will one will work and the other one will work and you can also give a description for the you know clients or the reviewer who is reviewing your design uh, so uh, we have just completed our file as so let's i know receive some question and answers if you have yes thank you so much maggie for this wonderful presentation and thank you everyone for participating